Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ugh, I know, my face is breaking out, it hates me. But we're gonna start off with the Pixie um, Spray. I have been actually loving this and it has been making my skin feel nice and glowy. Then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Daily Mineral Infused Face Primer, put that underneath my eyes, forehead, nose, and chin, and rub that into the skin. So for start off with the eyes, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as usual um, and take my Morphe blending brush to blend that in. I Like always, I really like how the concealer just really keeps my eyeshadow in, in uh, place. Um, that way I don't have to worry about like it creasing or it moving or it me looking like a freaking mess. During the end of the day, so I really, that's just my preference is the concealer and it has been working for my eyes, which is why I always do it in my videos. <laughs> so then next I'm going to set that with um, some CoverGirl Loose Setting Powder. Again, this is just my preference. I really like it and it just makes it an even canvas and it gets rid of my like pinkiness on my eyelids because nobody wants to see that. Am I right? Then I'm going to start off with the ColourPop um, Dream Street by Kathleen Lights. Take the first shade. I think it's called Starlight, but I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to use that and as my transition color and just really get a nice deep, not deep, but a nice neutral transition shade in there and just blend it all the way from inner to outer corner. Next, I'm going to pick up this deep brown shade in the Dream Street palette, um, and I'm going to blend that into the crease. So I'm going to start blending it out in the, or in the outer V of my eye, um, and then slowly work into the crease just to really deepen it up um, and make sure we have some color there. So just keep going until you get the color that you like in the crease. Um, and then eventually I switched to a different brush because I just did not like the way that Morphe brush was working out for me. So I went back to my Morphe M411 brush and picked up still the same color, that brown shade, um, but just really focused this on the outer V and in um, the crease of my eye because we are going to do a cut crease today. So I want that crease to be really deep and really rich with color. Then I'm going to take my Morphe E27 brush and just blend all those shades together. There is literally no product, no more product on here. It's just what is on the brush. Um, and just to make sure it's nice and even. Then I'm going to take the blue shade in there. I believe it's called Water Bearer. But again, I am not 100% sure. But it's the blue shade in the Dream Street palette. And I'm just going to focus this on the outer V of my eye. Um, and then when I have just the tiniest, tiny, 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 tiniest bit of product, I'm going to then move it into the crease. Again, just to deepen up the crease more um, as we continue to do, to do this eyeshadow look and just focus it, but mainly focus it on the outer V. But again, like I said, once there's a little bit of product on the brush, I'm going to then put it into the crease of my eye. Don't you just love this color? This is probably one of my favorite colors in this whole palette. It's just so blue and so freaking good. <sighs> Kathleen, you did such a good job on this palette. I use it almost every day, if I'm being completely honest. Then going into the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture palette, picking up that blue shade in there, and I'm going to take it on the same brush. It's the Morphe R37 brush, I believe, or R39, and just, again, build up the color. Then to cut the crease, I'm going to take my Tarte tape shape, tape shape Concealer on a little Morphe brush, and really, when it comes to cut crease, I just take my time. I focus this um, part, I focus on this part really well. I just sl slowly but surely work up the crease, and 
you know, take my time with this. There's literally no rush. Um, I just like it to be nice and cut <laughs> um, and clean, and I don't like my lines to be all crooked. So I just take my time with this. Um, but yeah, just filling in with concealer, and then we're going to go in with some eyeshadow over that. I'm going to take this silver shade. I'm going to put it, I'm going to take it on a, I believe this is the Urban Decay brush um, that I got in the, my Naked 2 palette. Um, but any flathead brush would work, and I just began packing that color onto the, um, where we put the concealer to cut the crease, and just really packing it on there. Um, I love this silver shade, but I just didn't think that it popped as much as I wanted it to for this look. So I'm going to go in with the NYX Silver Pigments. Oh, and then I'll first, JK, rewind. Work, work. I'm going to pick up that blue shade, and then I'm just going to blend that in between the silver shade and the blue deep shades um, just to make it nice and radiant and smooth, like ombre effect. Light blue, dark blue. You get me? You get me. Um, and then I'm going to... Go in with the NYX um, pigments. I put some NYX glitter glue primer on the brush and put it on my eyes, and then I'm going to dip into the pigment. I really love this silver shade. It just makes everything pop. Like, look at that pigment. It is silver to the T. So then I just really place it where I put the um, silver shade from the ColourPop palette just to make it pop a little bit more so I can get more of that oomph that I was looking for with this look. And I just think this added the cherry on top. It is gorgeous. Like, look at that. Reflect. So for foundation, I'm going to take the CoverGirl Elixir um, foundation on my Morphe E6 brush, I believe. No, R6. I'm sorry. Um, and just really blend that or brush it into the skin. I like using the brush with this foundation. I find it looks on my skin better than when I first go in with the with a beauty blender. So I'm just going to go in with the brush first and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender because I like the finish that the beauty blender gets but I feel that with this foundation working with the brush first works better for me and for how um, my skin is. So that is why I'm going in with the brush first. Then moving on to um, my favorite part of the face, which is concealer. I am going to still use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because it is my forever favorite. This shade is Light Sand. I need to get more, which I already did. Um, and I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes just to cover up that or my dark circles um, and really just pull in the light from my face. So I'm going to do the underneath my eyes, my forehead, the tip of my nose, and my chin. Um, just to make it bright. Where I feel like my face needs to be bright. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my Morphe blending brush and blend that in. I absolutely love this brush. I need to get another one because my dog ate that one that's in the video right now. So I need to get another one ASAP. But just continue blending that in. And then I'm going to set it with my CoverGirl Loose Setting Powder as always. Um, this powder is actually my go-to. I haven't found a powder that I like so far more than this one. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments below because I need a new powder and a new bronzer if any of you guys know of a good one. But I'm just going to lightly bake underneath my eyes. Um, and then everywhere where I put concealer, so underneath my eyes, my chin, and my forehead, just so that the concealer doesn't move, crease, budge, not that, it doesn't do nothing but stay where it needs to be the whole day. So for bronzer, I'm going to take my poor Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer that has hit pan, and I'm so sad because it literally was my favorite butter bronzer of all time, or bronzer of all time, so that's why I need suggestions on getting a new one. But I'm just going to um, put some color in my forehead, my temples, and my cheek 
area just a little bit, not too much. Just want to add some color back into my face. Then for highlight, I'm going to mix the two uh, Moneymaker and Hustla Baby, I believe they're called, um, from the Fenty Beauty collection. I love her highlight highlighters. Highlight? Highlighters? Whatever you want to call them. I absolutely adore them, especially this duo. I think it... Uh, one is there for like if you want the extra highlight, the extra pop. The other one is like, okay, you know, day out, night out, whatever, whatever your cup of tea is. It's just you have options for days. It's ugh, I can't say enough about this. Now to do the bottom um, lashes or bottom lower line, I'm going to take that light brown shade in the Dream Street palette. I'm just going to take this shade and the brown dark brown shade. I don't show you guys. Um, I forgot to. Sorry. But... I take that and then I take the dark brown shade and put that underneath my lower lashes. And then I put on mess or false lashes and mascara and lips. I just use a gloss. It's from Ulta. It's called the Shiny Gloss. And then to set the face, I'm just going to spray it with the NYX Makeup Setting Spray. And then dry it down, wave a couple things. Baymax, please don't. Thank you. But that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely love this look, and I loved how it turned out. I think I, I don't know. This is probably, like, one of my favorite looks that I've done so far. I really like it. I like that it goes from silver to blue to dark blue, but yet you can see the transition colors, so they're not hidden, um, and it doesn't look like a hot mess, which I thought it was going to turn out to be. <laughs> um, but I really hope... You guys, you guys like this video, again, please give me this a video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. See you next time. Bye.